What is going on guys, it's Reflex here and I realize I haven't uploaded in a week and I guarantee everyone probably had that CJ meme at the ready and was like, oh shit, here we go again because I missed a whole bunch of days. But there's a, a bit, actually a pretty normal reason for why I missed this time around. It's because I actually told Buggy this as well as I updated people on Twitter recently. But I started a new job and the whole thing the thing about me not uploading was because I wanted to get through the process of everything making sure I had it and I wanted to get through the days to kind of understand what time I had to work with and exactly just how easy it was going to be to upload while doing this and I actually have a lot more time than I did in my previous job which is good so that means I can bring maybe hopefully I can bring you guys videos every single day and maybe even more than one a day with all it really all depends on what I want to upload because I want to bring back some let's plays to the channel I want to keep the gaming news I want to keep the commentaries and I want to keep the streams going obviously streams will only happen on my days off because the times that I normally stream is the times that well I'd be working so that's the only thing that would change I probably will stream a little bit less but I like just recording commentaries for you guys which is fun and it seems like I missed a lot and that was the thing I didn't realize I was already gone for a whole week. I looked at uh, my channel and saw it said one week ago, and I was like, okay, Jesus Christ, I missed a lot. And yes, the multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty Modern Warfare dropped, NBA 2K19's uh, little gameplay thing. Well, they said gameplay, but it wasn't really gameplay, but that dropped. Um, there was stuff about Borderlands 3. There was stuff about uh, um, Death Stranding and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I mean, it's just... I missed so much to make videos on and it was kind of weird that I did because I didn't expect so much to happen in so little time but tonight I'll be going to see Hobbs and Shaw and I'm kind of excited about that because I mean I was one of the ones that was actually really excited while everyone else was saying oh this is going to be stupid but I thought it was going to be really cool I like Idris Elba I like uh, Jason Statham so just having all three and as well as uh, The Rock and all it, like just all of them in that movie is going to be nice and I always like the Fast and Furious movies. I know this is a spinoff, but still, there's evidently two mid-credit scenes as well as one post-credit scene that people say is going to blow your mind. I'm not entirely sure how credible that is, but I'm so excited to see it. It's going to be a fun time. Um, expect a couple other videos uh, later today. I want to talk about some 2K stuff as well as probably something about Kingdom Hearts as well as Borderlands 3. I might save the Kingdom Hearts one for tomorrow, but today we're just going to talk about uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, I don't know if you guys seen the multiplayer reveal, as well as all the gameplay going around, but this game looks amazing. It really does, and like, I've already said that this game looks like, it looks like, like Battlefield, like I said, plays like Call of Duty with a mix of Rainbow Six. That's what it seems like to me, and it looks really, really fun. I mean, honestly... This, there hasn't been a Call of Duty that looked like this in a very long time. Like, this looks like Call of Duty. This looks like the old style Call of Duty that we came to love when the community was at its peak and everyone was loving Call of Duty. There wasn't, you know, like 50% haters and 50% people that liked the game. No, this looks like a game that I think everyone will enjoy. Obviously, time will tell when we actually get the game and then decide for ourselves. But, I mean, World War II... It didn't look like this. Call of Duty World War II did not look like this when they were showing it off. This game looks 20 times better than that, which is crazy because, I mean, the new engine is really shedding the light on how games are going to be looking, at least first-person shooter-wise. Obviously, single-player games are even going going to go a step beyond that. But if this is what it's going to look like, I mean, visually, it's stunning. I, like I said, I've always been a sucker for the colors of a game and how visually it looks because it makes me kind of get engaged more and doesn't make me get as bored fa as fast I guess I can say but it looks really fun the sniping I do like the question is I didn't really watch any videos on like how people said the sniping was but like is there gonna be like quick draw or something because it seems like the ADS times for the snipers is a little a little slow I'm not gonna lie like it's it's kind of slow I don't like that but obviously it still looks like a good feel to the game I feel like you can still hit a quad feed easy a five on screen it seems like it may be a struggle unless you get like quick draw or something I didn't look at the feed to see how long it is but still sniping looks fun it does it does look fun I'm not gonna lie the kill streaks look cool they introduced the nuke they didn't really say they didn't confirm it but they pretty much teased it off which I mean that's that's a nuke that they showed I thought that was cool the kill streaks look really nice everything looks good the only thing I haven't seen they showed customization of everything but your character so my question is 
Are we going to be able to customize our own soldier? That's what I want. I want to customize. I don't want skins. I want customization. If you give me skins, I want to customize every piece. I want to customize the shoulders, the body, the legs, the pants, the shoes, the face, hair, beard. You got a hat? Let me customize that too. You know, I want customization in the Call of Duty. That's one thing that could push the boundary for how Call of Duty is played. And I think it would bring more players to it, to be quite honest. Or at least give you more, you know, fun to it, you know? Because that's one thing that Call of Duty doesn't do. They only give you skins. Obviously, you can mess with a couple things, but it is not, it's like fake customization. That's what I like to call it. Like, you know, Grand Theft Auto, they got customization. 2K, they got a little bit of customization where you can customize every piece. Fortnite and all that, they got skins. Obviously, you can customize individual pieces, but they're not really changing. There's nothing really unique, because even though you might be different colors, you still look the exact same as another person. And that's something I always didn't like in Call of Duty and really other games that there wasn't really a distinguishable, like, kind of uniqueness to every single character between each other. Like, I could go into Black Ops 4, I could, in three matches, I could probably see two of the same exact player every single game. And, I mean, it's not a big deal. Obviously, that's a very small problem, but I still would like customization. I really would. I mean, I think it'd be cool. But they don't have to add a face scan feature in the game, but they can at least let us customize it. I think that'd be cool. But uh, other than that, what else? Oh, yeah, they said um, the maps, every future map will be free. They're pulling a Blizzard, which I think Blizzard is actually a part of Activision, if I'm not mistaken now. So I think maybe they kind of nudged them a little bit forward and like telling Infinity Ward, like, hey, make your future maps uh, free. So I mean, that's going to be cool. Now, the question is. Is there going to be supply drops, which I'm sure there is, but if there is, is future DLC weapons going to be free where you just get them, or is this going to be another year of where some people will just not get the guns because it's solely based on luck? I mean, I've seen people spend like 500 bucks on the Locust, or seen people, like, for instance, I think Advanced Warfare, when they first came out with stuff, uh, what was it, the Quick Bolt? The Quick Bolt was the um, sniper? that no one could seem to, I mean, obviously there's some people that got it really quick, but Jeff, he spent a whole year and barely got it. He got it at the end of the year, and I was like, God dang, they really need to fix this system, and they never did. They really never did. World War II, I think, had it best because you could actually do challenges to get them, I think. I could be wrong about that, but still, like, I feel like World War II, I think, had a better system to get guns. Black Ops, Infinite Warfare actually had a better system, too, because they had something where you could actually pick a weapon, for your prestige or something like that so that was kind of cool but yeah i didn't like how in modern warfare remastered there was a chance that i couldn't i mean i didn't get any of the dlc guns black ops 4 i didn't get any of the dlc guns so it's kind of depressing that i can't do that i hope in um modern warfare they actually let you pick a gun like maybe you get a supply drop or something get i don't know like maybe one prestige there we go Every single time you prestige, you get one weapons bribe for a uh, supply drop. But this supply drop, maybe you get to pick. Maybe instead of a supply drop, it's just a care package. The care package comes with a skin, a camo, and it depends on how they do this. But then a gun. And the gun you can pick. What do you want? Do you want a sniper? Do you want a submachine gun? You know, stuff like that. They could do it like that. That way, it gives one an incentive to play more. Because say there's like five different snipers out there. Okay. So I can take my chance opening the supply drops as I grind through the game, but once I prestige, I can get one. So it takes me five prestiges to get all those snipers, or I might get them all just by being lucky in the supply drops. So there could be a way that they could do this. I don't even know if supply drops are in the game, but I just feel like they're going to be because that's the money makers. That's the money makers in literally every single game. Now, Overwatch, they got the boxes. 2K, they got VCU that you can open packs with and all that. So, I mean, there will always be incentives to just, like, kind of, not pay to win, but pay to get the cool stuff. So, I'm just going to be optimistic on how they're going to really set up things, because I feel like it's going to be another year where I'm not going to get a gun that I want, but we'll see. But, yeah, expect videos being uploaded again daily. I'm going to try my best to keep that going. Like I said, the only reason that I missed days was because of my new job, but now that I know exactly how it works and how much time I have, I'll be able to upload as much as I can. Because I think I got like a, I really got like an eight hour window pretty much before I go, you know, to work. So I have some time and this is a perfect schedule for me. So like I said, just wish me luck, but expect uploads and 
hopefully I can stick on this grind. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and you guys on the drill. I will see you guys later.